Hello and welcome to another Haley's tutorial. In this video we're going to be making this signature here and um, it's pretty easy to make and um, we'll be using stocks, we won't be using any cut renders or anything so it can, you can use it with any uh, image you find that you like and you don't have to worry about cutting it if you don't like working with renders. It's it's pretty basic and a very uh, nice outcome and um, I hope you enjoy it and uh, if you do uh, enjoy it do subscribe and like the video because it helps me and you get to see my uh, upcoming videos in the future. So we make our new document and I choose a width of 450 and a height of 175 and then we're going to bring in our image. I'm going to use this one here, it's pretty cool. And place it into my document and I'm just going to duplicate it once and then size it down and place it. Okay there, and I'm actually going to make his eyes a little bit more, more interesting. So I'm going to make a new layer on top of that, and choose a blue brush, and just go in the top of the eyes, and just a little bit lighter actually, and just put in two dots over his eyes, and we'll change this to overlay. And you'll see bits of the blue on the, the forward, but we don't want that, so we're going to mask off that. So we get a black brush then. When we let a mask, we're clicking this little icon. And we start brushing over the blue bits, and it'll take them away. And we'll do this again. And two dots. And this time we set this one to linear dodge. And then we mask off again. And I'm going to lower the opacity just a little bit. It's about there. And it's very pale looking now, so we're just going to put a bit more blue in it. So we get a brush and make a new layer. And we just darken up that blue. And two dots again. And this time we'll change it to overlay and then mask off again the bits that we don't want. Like that. I'm going to zoom out now and you see the colour. It's more intense, but um, I'm just going to lower the opacity of this one a little bit. And as well, I'm to my eyeball too, I'm going to do that. So we get a black brush again. And we mask out the little pupils. That. Now when we have that done, we're going to make a new layer on top of all them, and um, we're going to get a brush. I had supplied these brushes on the YouTube um, description if you want to follow along, and uh, the picture we're using as well. choose a bright colour, a colour that's in the four, but I'm going to lighten up a little bit. And just brush on like that. And I'm going to change this to overlay. And again, I make a new layer. And go with some more brushes. Brush strokes. going to decrease the opacity of a little bit. And once more with this, so we make a new layer, and 
No, I chose Death Boss again. some gradient maps now. I'm oh, sorry, we work on some light first actually. So we make a new layer on top of it and make it black and set it to linear dodge and we get a white brush this time. And we be choose a large soft brush and let's put in a light source. That looks okay. And now we're going to add some shadows. So we make a new layer on top of that and choose a black brush this time. Uh, brush in our shadows. Just darken up the edges of the tag then. And I'm going to open up a bubble texture as well. Where was it? This one here. Set the linear dodge. It's okay that side. I'm just gonna erase a little bit on its face. And I'm gonna duplicate it and just bring it over to the left now. It's over on the left side. Sorry, right there. Now it's time for some gradient maps. So we're going to make a gradient map. And I'm going to choose black to white first and set to luminosity. And change the opacity up to about 40. And another gradient map again. And this time we choose a magenta orange. And we change this to lighten. And we lower the opacity to 20%. And another gradient map. And this time we will choose. Um, these here colors, I like them. A64135 for that side. And on the other side, it's going to be 214565. And we we'll click reverse. And we set this to lighten as well. Lower that down a little bit now. And one more gradient map. And we're going to choose. Um, this side would be. 0A0A0F and the other side will be triple F A B F. Click OK and we'll just lower the opacity of this down a little bit. Right there. And uh, now I'm going to add an exposure layer. So we'll click down here and we go to our exposures. And I'm just going to increase the exposure a tiny bit. So about 0.11 and increase the offset to about. 0.0041 and leave the gamma correction at 1. And we make a new layer on top of that now, and then we will go image and apply image. And we're going to go filter, blow, Gaussian blow, and we'll increase the radius of it to about 1.2 and click OK. And we don't want it all blurry, so we're going to use a mask now. And we're going to mask off this face. And we're going to decrease the flow of the brush to about 50%. And just start brushing on this face. Like that. And we're going to add another layer and we'll apply this image as well. And we'll go filter, blow, motion blow. And we'll do the distance to 4. And we'll change the angle to. 77 and again mask off just around the foreground on his face like that 
now we're going to make a new and apply it once more and then we go filter sharpen sharpen and we go edit fade sharpen and bring it down to about 40 percent now we make a new layer now and we get a marquee tool rectangular marquee tool and make a selection like this and we're going to fill it with black and we hide this layer now for a second and make a new layer on top of it and apply the image and then we go and uh, right click that layer and then click create clip mask I mean unhide this one now you won't see it for a second but when you go to the top layer then and move it you'll notice that this changes as well it applied to that um, little box we just made so move around until you're happy with what way it looks looks okay there but I'm gonna actually make it a little bit smaller so And now I'm just going to add a little bit of text. Make sure it's on your top layer. Or it'll apply to that clip mask as well. size about 24 and just choose the text that you like then looks alright there I'm actually going to decrease size again a little bit there looks okay and move around then until we're happy where it looks and I'm going to double click the layer now to bring up the the blending options and I'm going to go to gradient overlay and I'm going to change the angle to zero and we go in here to change our color sentence and this side we just choose the color that's in the tag maybe that there, yeah, that's a bit uh, too bright. That's okay there. And on the other side, again, we just choose color that's in the tag. A little bit brighter this time. That's okay there. And then we're going to add a drop shadow. And you can leave it all in the standard sentence. Uh, the size of 5 and distance of 5 and the opacity at 75 and the spread at 0. Now we're going to add a little stroke to it. So I'm going to leave this stroke sentence at 1 and go to the color sentence and again choose a darker color now that's in this height. That's okay there. And I'm going to lower the opacity of it then. Make it a bit. To bit. 40, you're running around now. I used to choose 43. And now I'm going to go underneath it and I'm going to do the same way we made that rectangle. So we make a uh, get our marquee tool and we bring it across over our text like that and make the, out, make the background of it black and we're going to duplicate our applied image that we did a while ago that we uh, applied the depth mask to so we pre click and press ctrl and press j for it to duplicate and we apply that uh, image uh, we create clip mask to that and move this around then until you're happy so right there and I'm going to lower the opacity of the actual rectangle a little bit more and there looks okay and I'm going to add a little bit of subtext so I'm actually just going to do the same as this so I'm going to duplicate the first bit of text we had and tutorials decrease this a good bit yeah. so move that up a little bit and that's this tag so that's the end of the video guys like I said it was pretty basic easy to do and um, a nice outcome and if you have any questions of anything I've done along the way do drop me a mail and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, don't forget, hit that subscribe button to see my upcoming videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.